This weekend has been insane. Sales so far include 115, 140, 180, 250, 405, and a $500 sale. We're gonna go over what all those were. Welcome to one of the craziest sales weekend ever. It's actually our record sales weekend. My name is Edine, this is my beautiful wife, Melinda. We're known as Hustlin' Hooks by the fact that our channel is Hustlin' Hooks and also Instagram is Hustlin' Hooks. We're Hustlin' Hooks. That's us. This has been insane. We actually just looked back at the days and the last time, the, the previous record was April of 2020 in a three day sales period. That was the height of the pandemic yeah. when bread makers were selling for ridiculous amounts of money. Mm -hmm. We sold a Zorishi that weekend yeah. for like 470 bread maker. It yeah. was lots of bread makers out the door that weekend. Yeah, we looked back at our posts and it was something it was like 16 bread makers or 12 bread makers. It was 12 in 10 days uh, for a lot of money. like 170 on average yeah. or something. It was if you don't know about the bread craze, uh, I guess you had to be there for that one. It was yeah. it was pretty crazy. Uh, anyhow, uh, let's cover what we did sell this weekend and tell you a little bit about the items. Yeah. So here are the shoes that sold this weekend. Again, we can win with many different brands. Some Harley Davidson, some Merrell, some Brooks, Nike, of course, Adidas. Uh, let's go over what we sold and how much they sold for. So the most expensive pair that we paid up for were these Harley Davidson boots. Guys, this is the, the thing with Facebook Marketplace. You're going to lose a lot on Facebook Marketplace as far as sourcing it. There's just, it's competitive and people typically price their stuff at value. In this case, Mondo was able to scoop up these Harley Davidson boots, like new condition. These were born, worn maybe once or twice, according to the person who was selling them. These are women's uh, leather, amazing condition. Mondo paid $20 a pair for two boots, same style. This is the first one that sold. We took an offer of $80 for just this one pair on Poshmark. They pay for shipping. So of course that more than covers the $40 she spent. We're already in the profit with another pair with the same value up for sale. Another excellent pair of shoes are these Nikes. Uh, they're just excellent, right? Look at the condition of them. They've only been worn once or twice. These came from a private pick. And when we say that, again, we mean that we tell people what we do and then they give us the opportunity to buy from them knowing that we're going to be reselling them. We have about $6 into these Nikes and they sold for $40. We pay for shipping, which is typically between $8 and $12 depending on where they're going. Next up, a pair of Brooks. These are men's Brooks. They're the Ghosts 8th edition. We've sold Ghosts before. They do really well for us. These we found thrifting. Really good condition, a little bit of dirt on the bottom, but overall they're really nice. No rips, stains, anything like that. You always want to keep uh, keep an eye on, on the inside of the heel here too for any ripping. And then of course check the overall condition. We paid six for them, they sold for 40 on eBay. These Merrells, same story. Thrifted, really nice condition, no damage on them, really excellent, excellent treads on them. Vibram is a really good uh, sole or tread that they put on them. So anytime you're seeing Gore-Tex or Vibram with any sort of brand, it usually means that the price is going to be a little bit higher on the resale market. And make sure you include that in the title of your description. Paid six, these sold for $39 on eBay. And then these giant shoes that are uh, actually too small for me to wear. These are not my size. These are 14 and a halfs. Like new condition, I mean, I would be... I would be stunned if these were worn more than five times. Again, we found these thrifting. Someone donated these. We paid them six bucks for them and we sold them for $40 on eBay. Uh, Nike is just a fantastic brand. We sell a lot of Nikes. Uh, just be on the lookout, look them up by the style code or the description and you'll be able to figure out if their value is enough where you can resell them for a profit. Last pair of shoes yet, I mean, it's it's about 2 p.m. on a Sunday. Of course, if we have any more sales today, we're gonna include them in this video. These are a pair of Adidas. They're an all-terrain type of shoe. Um, they're just built for outdoor activity. Again, paid six bucks for them. Really nice pair, smaller size, and that's something I'll address in a moment. And these sold for $33 shipped, and they took a while to sell. 
anytime that it comes to shoes or clothing, clothing that are in demand, that are, you know, good brands, good style, same with shoes, they're going to sell, but the ones that are the median size of the population or the average size of the population tend to sell better. So women's size four, five, six, those are going to sell a lot slower typically than seven, eight, nines, and tens just because of the average shoe size. So if you are on a smaller purchasing budget, pass on shoes that are size five or six women's or size five, six, seven, eight for men's because they might be selling a little bit slower than bigger average sizes. So just a tip, we've had that question several times. Monda's gonna come back, she's gonna cover some of the clothing that's sold this weekend. So I'm gonna be going over clothes and a couple other things. One of those is our $500 sale from the weekend. I'm gonna go cover the clothes first, give you a couple minutes to put some guesses out there. What do you think it is? So let's cover what sold clothing wise first. So I have these Pilcro and the letter press. These are the script style. Pilcro and the letter press is an anthropology brand. It used to sell a lot higher, command a higher price and sell more frequently. Now you have to be pretty careful about which styles you pick up from Pilcro. So keep that in mind if you do see it at your thrift. Make sure to pull it up and check the style before you put it in your car or before you leave the store at least. We paid $5 for these and we sold them for $35. We also sold these Nikes. Now these are a crop, which doesn't sell as quickly or as high as the, the regular length, floor length ones, but they're a very cool colorway. So picked those up. They have a little blemish here, which was of course disclosed as always, any flaws, but it sort of blends in. You can't actually really see it apart unless you know it's there. We paid $4 for these and they sold for $28. Now this is an active wear, getting outside, weather is starting to get nicer across the US. So keep that in mind right now with what you're looking at and what you're pulling for your inventory. We're probably gonna see a lot more active wear go off of our shelves. We've seen it pretty regularly going in terms of the shoes and our weekly sales as well. People wanna get outside, it's been a long winter, especially with some places being in various stages of lockdown. It's really a good time to get some outerwear up in your stores right now. We also sold this Wolverine jacket. Now that would be a shirt jacket for those of you wondering. It's actually a term, they use it. Uh, it is like Sherpa fleece lined here. It's Wolverine, which is a pretty good outdoor brand. Very thick, very soft. It's in this classic red and black buffalo plaid, as they say. And we picked this up for $7, a little bit more than a normal shirt at our Goodwill. And we sold it for $34.50. So speaking of active wear, this is an Athleta sports bra. Uh, it has the cross straps in back, a little bit strappier, has the Athleta hit there. Now I got this at a private pick and I paid up a little bit for it. And the reason why is because one, Athleta sells quickly for us, especially these more modern styles. Also, because with private picks, we generally have an association with the people we're going to look at their things. And it's really important for us to build good relationships because word of mouth, we want them to feel like they're getting a fair deal as well. And we're generally given first pick at good quality items. So that's worth it to us to pay up a little bit more. For that, for the clothing pieces, I averaged $6 and that one sold on offer as a 10% offer for $22.50. So next is sort of clothing related, sort of shoe related. These are just a random miscellaneous lot of single mismatched monster high shoes. Totally random, you would think, right? Most people might just throw these in the recycling and throw them into the trash. These have value. We sold these for $20 and they were just the leftovers. They're ones we went through our lot. They didn't have matches, obviously, but people lose their shoes just like these were lost. So they're either looking for replacements and some people also make really cool things with, with doll pieces and doll parts. So they might do something totally different. Either way, they sold for 20. 
All right, so the big $500 sale. It was a Friday sale, it was an offer. We have this listed for 525 and we took an offer. They paid right away. Drum roll. Monster High Dolls. Guys. All right, let me tell you a little story. A Dean brings home two large totes of Monster High Dolls pays $2.40 for all of them, lets them sit somewhere in the abyss of everything until I decide it's time to sort these girls, lay them all out, destroy our house for a weekend. We are well into the profit with what we've already sold for these dolls. These got put back into a bin and have been just sitting in our eBay room. I've been looking at them saying, this is a huge space take up finally just made the decision one day I just pulled them out and I was like you know what I just want them gone I just want them gone we already made our profit I'm gonna do one big lot and that's exactly what I did there are also I should mention some ever after dolls in here we're not as familiar with the ever after dolls but it's along the same lines you know fairy tale themed different characters there are also ball jointed dolls as well in the description, I outlined which characters there were, and of course I pointed out if any were missing hands, and only one from the Mo Monster High lot was. These were intact dolls. We've already split off the broken ones for projects. The Ever After dolls were missing some more hands, but obviously didn't really seem to affect anything. There's 63 total dolls. There's a couple chairs two stands and some miscellaneous clothes, extra shoes, and some random smaller accessories. So all of that together does provide a really big value to somebody. I did disclose that most of the doll's hair was just a hot mess. So there are some excellent condition dolls in here for sure. And I put that in there um, and I tried to get as many pictures as I can given the limits that eBay has. But it's a good deal. It works out to less than $10 a doll. So whether they want to use these ones for projects or even if just somebody, they're really good to play with dolls. The excellent condition ones can maybe go into a collection, put aside. But these ones, if you're playing with them on a daily basis, it's not gonna hurt it if their hair gets messed up or anything like that. So that's also a good deal. But needless to say, we have a great profit margin on this because three dollars is allocated to the leftovers that's all we have left to cover for the cost so three dollars into 500 that's not bad that's great and that really started off our weekend so we've got lots of other good sales to come though so still stay tuned <laughs> we'll cover those and then we're gonna get these packed up after we get these packed up Adina will come back and cover housewares Wanted to just give you guys a quick packing tip on these Monster High dolls. So if you look in here, they're, they fit pretty well. They're really not at a lot of risk for damage, but what we're gonna do is lay them out. And then we're basically just going to uh, create a couple of layers of bubble wrap in between them, just so that they stay nice and tight and so that they don't get damaged. They're pretty hard plastic. They're not brittle. Um, and I think that'll, that'll be fine. And then some of the ones that are a little bit better condition we might treat a little bit differently but I think if we do this several times and then just do a couple layers of bubble wrap through just like making monster high lasagna so I'm gonna do that I'll show you what it looks like Okay, so now that that's layered like a nice Monster High lasagna, we're just going to stuff some bubble wrap on the side. You can use paper to do this too, it doesn't really matter. And then we're just going to find more bubble wrap and get this top pressed down nicely. Close it up and that's it. Hopefully that helps you guys. So I'm going to cover housewares, but before we do that, we just want to give back. And one way we can give back is this. What we would like you guys to do, if you want to, completely up to you, go into the comments below the video, not in the live chat of the premiere, 
but in the actual comments below the video and put in your store name exactly how it is in eBay if you're an eBay seller and what Melinda and I will do is we'll use a random generator we'll pick two stores that we're gonna shop from and we're gonna buy one item per store for ourselves or for whatever so do that and that way we can all see your stores whoever wants to and we can support each other by shopping each other right so let's let's give back we want to give back to you guys because you guys are awesome you're super kind to us the vast majority of you are super super supportive and this is one way we can give back so again not in the live chat but down below the video leave your store name in a comment and we will definitely shop you guys and in the next sales video we'll show you what we found and what we bought so let's get into housewares housewares is one of those categories that we continuously win in because it's so undervalued at a lot of places like estate sales and garage sales etc so the first thing i want to show you is this food saver we've we've sold a lot of food savers they're a little bit tricky to figure out if you've never used one before so you can just do a quick google or youtube search of how to use the thing because right here are the instructions and sometimes they get faded or, or they're not there but basically you just have to align your bag press firmly and the machine will start anyways i paid five dollars for this at a goodwill and it sold for 39 dollars shipped and this is relatively small it'll ship for about nine dollars next up a fryer typically we stay away from fryers because you have to clean the grease they smell bad etc this one only was five bucks or six bucks at goodwill and it didn't have a lot of use so when we, when i opened it i mean everything was in really good condition overall there's still a little bit of a, a, a scent right a smell of oil because people use oil to fry um, but overall it did not need a lot and that's one thing that we keep in mind when we're buying things how much work does it need before it's ready to sell this one didn't need much and it sold within a couple of weeks for $55 shipped this one I really want to tell you about this one I I picked it up I looked it up and I couldn't find a lot of sales history and I still still put it in our bag this came from the estate sale and it it's just a coffee grinder that's it, it ju you just put your coffee beans in here you put you know press the button that grinds them this sold within three hours for $75 and I paid four dollars for it it sold for that much for a couple of reasons they're rare to find in this color and since somebody who has that lifestyle or that type of you know what is that called decor in their kitchen that's looking for this type of stuff they really want it plus it was made in West Germany right back in the day when there was an east and a west germany divided by the wall so this has some history behind it as well it's definitely vintage all of the item all the descriptions are in the bottom brown of course a german manufacturing company super super great one if you guys see these definitely pick them up they they may sell really fast for you this next one was kind of funny because i in the same day in two different thrift stores i found four of them which is pretty wild this is just a Hamilton Beach egg sandwich maker you just pop it in and then there's a divider and you can put in your bread or whatever in here your sausage put the divider back turn it on this is the second one we've sold this one we have three dollars into and it sold for $28 ship and again it's pretty small it'll ship for about nine bucks the next one here is uh, this Franciscan ware, Franciscan ware, Franciscan ware. I, I honestly, it's Franciscan. Franciscan ware. Someone said some some mystery ghost behind the camera. Uh, we have maybe a dollar into these. We've already sold so much of it. I couldn't believe that I only paid fifteen dollars for like over. A, I think it was over fifty pieces. So. This set sold for thirty-one fifty. Going international, we're just gonna bubble wrap it a lot. Put the cardboard in between each piece so that they don't smash against each other. Uh, send a couple of positive vibes into the universe and hopefully wherever in the world they're going to, they get there safe. The nice thing about the global shipping program at eBay is that once it reaches Kentucky and it's scanned in, you as the seller are 100% protected. So if there's a damage claim, they get to keep their item, they get a full refund and you get to keep your sale. So if you have not, Google eBay global shipping program sign up for it it's free and definitely offer it because you're gonna get more sales and it's the only time that the buyer I'm sorry the seller is fully protected by eBay last one I'm gonna cover for now is a really good sale really fast one 
I paid forty dollars and nine cents for this at a Goodwill that I've never been into and in an area that I don't really go to. But while I was there picking something else up, I thought, hey, what the heck? This is a Wedgie Bullet Spiralizing Quick Start blah 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 from Magic Bullet. So this is what it looks like when it's complete. This is of course the manual. The reason I paid forty dollars for it is because it was brand new without the box. And I could tell a couple of ways. One, the plug still had the plastic protection on it and all of the warning labels were still on it and I couldn't find a speck of dust in this entire thing. So we labeled it as brand new. It sold for $180 within a few days and it's also going international. I'll tell you a little bit of a story and give you some advice on this one. The buyer bought it and then they said, hey, I want to cancel this because it's used. And we said, no, it's not used. It's clearly described as brand new without the box. Then they said, well, can you give me $60 back because I have to buy the box for it and it's going to cost me $60. And we said, no, the price is firm. They've already paid for it. So why would I give them a discount on something that they already agreed to pay, right? Then I sent them a message and they responded to me a day later. Basically, I said, hey, look, I need to know if you want this or not. Others are interested. And he said, yeah, go ahead and ship it. The moral of the story, if they've already paid for it and they're threatening you with a cancellation, then let them cancel because obviously someone else would buy it, especially something that's sold this fast. That concludes the housewares for now. If there's more, we'll tack them on to the end of the video. Mondo's going to come back with some epic electronic sales. All right, so in this clip, it has now fast forwarded to 8.45 at night and we're back to go over some big bangers from this weekend. If you take a look right here, these are all the electronics that sold. So starting from the top, this is a Samsung. It is a Blu-ray 3D player. So you can get your cool 3D glasses and watch a 3D Blu-ray movie on that. It does come with the speakers, including the subwoofer. So it's a total immersion experience. You can be underwater with Ariel if you so choose be part of that world. We paid $20 for it and it sold really fast for $140. So don't just write off Blu-ray players. Do a little bit more research on them. Look them up. They might actually sell for really good money and they might sell really fast for you. So the second one, you've seen this brand from us before. This is a Morantz. Not as big hitting as the receiver, but this is still quality brand and it's sold for a really good price. This is just a CD recorder. We paid $90 for it, so we did pay up for it with a bundle, but we knew it was gonna be a quick turnaround and it was. Within a day of listing, we sold it. It was the only one for sale on eBay when we listed it and it is now the highest comp on eBay, at least for the next 90 days or until someone sells it for more because now there's none listed on eBay. So if you find one, you'll have the only one listed on eBay. We turned it around and sold it for $250. It does come with the manual and the remote as well. The next one, just a classic DVD VHS combo. Uh, we have $25 into it. That includes repair because it wasn't working when we first picked it up and then we sold it for 115 so still worth it with the repair. The Toshiba, another classic, just VHS player. That we have $15 into and it sold for $70. This last one, this is a brand we had not actually dealt with before, Niles. And it's a sound amplifier, works with home entertainment or home sound systems. We got this on Facebook Marketplace. We bought it, no questions asked, because it actually came with a 300 multiple CD player, which we knew was a lot of money, and something else, all for $25. Obviously, someone didn't know what they had, so we bought it, tested it, and the comp, we were, we were actually very surprised at the comps. So for this one, we have $12 into it, we sold it for $405 this weekend. That is our second highest sale of the weekend. Very, very happy with that. It is heavy, 
So it's not going to be a cheap shipper, but I think we'll be able to cover it and still make a very healthy profit on that. Adina's going to be next. He is going to go over some less exciting, but still valuable and still awesome items. First, I just want to say thank you, Wanda, for really talking up my segment. I mean, I know it can't be as cool as your segment, but I'll do what I can with my non-exciting items. Two more shoes sold. These kids sold for only $18. We've had them forever. We're probably not going to be picking up these basic kids again. Um, 6 into 18, they pay for shipping on Poshmark, so it's like a $10 profit, which is fine. Glad to ship them. And one more pair, another pair of Merrells sold. These are like hiking trail shoes, excellent condition, lightweight shoes. They have a little bit of pilling on the back end here, but that's pretty irrelevant. Overall, really nice condition. They sold for $35, and uh, pretty sure these are going to ship first class as they're also super light. Some random, like super random stuff, so I'll do the quick hitters. Um, I found a whole bag of these pamphlets for the original Nintendo 64 video games. Sold most of them already. This one had some value by itself because, well, Super Mario 64 is a very popular game. So this pamphlet by itself sold for $50 shipped. It'll ship for, honestly, we could probably put it in an envelope with stamps, but we won't. It'll ship for $289, uh, media mail or first class. This NCAA Football 2014, if you're a reseller, I'm sure you've seen this before. However, no game. This was kind of a burn because I got super excited. Someone was selling um, this and four or five more games at $2 each on Marketplace. So I rushed over to get it, got there, opened it up, and it was like MLB 2014, which is a $3 game. This complete, right now I think the market value is between $60 and $100. It just depends on who's selling it. But whatever. I had it sitting on the shelf in hopes that we're going to find a game and then we can put it together. But it was just time to move it. And I've heard rumors or someone said that they're actually continuing the college football series on video games. I think it was Melinda, as she's pointing to herself behind the camera. She read it somewhere, so I think the value of this game might go down at some point. Regardless, happy $2 into 20 for an empty case. Another pretty random item. This came from a Nintendo, original Nintendo uh, buy. I paid 100 for everything. We already sold a bundle with games for 250 This, alongside of some other stuff, had some good value. This is a wireless controller for the original Nintendo, which is a pretty rare thing to come by. It sold for $25. We have about a dollar into it from that big bulk buy. And then we sold some CDs. Now, CDs by themselves usually don't have a lot of value unless they're you know super rare or signed or some sort of collectible. But what we've started doing recently is buying big bulk lots of them and then selling them in um, styles or genres or artists. We have about 25 cents into each. This is Oasis. These four sold for $18. We'll pay $2.89 media mail or $3. So a pretty healthy profit for a dollar invested. We recently, today actually, made another big 200 plus CD buy and uh, we'll do the same exact thing with those. And this week too, we sold another set for $45 from a band called Fish, which is like a jam band. So CDs do have some value, but there's a tip for you if you're looking to resell them. Typically they'll sell better in bundles or lots by artists or genre. Another part sold. This is from a juicer. I don't remember the name of the juicer. It'll be on the screen here. This sold for $19. This is just the pulp catcher. Really nice condition. I paid $10 for the whole machine. Monda took pictures of it, cleaned it up, and then realized that the parts were selling for much more than the unit. There's The actual sales comps for just the machine were like $30 plus shipping but the parts are selling for like $15 or more dollars each. So obviously the math said sell them in parts and the sell through rate which was much better in parts than the whole unit so uh listed this two days ago i was at the door something i listed the same day that sold very fast were these two trimmers um, these came from the estate sale Melinda and i went to last week and the tricky thing with these is that one of them is in good condition and the other one was not. One of them had damage and didn't hold a charge. So I listed it for $40 shipped and it sold almost immediately. Every single time that we sell something for parts that's damaged, we go and click to see who bought them and see if they're a refurbisher. And then if we have something similar, we ask them if they're interested in more. That was the case in this story. So I, I told them, hey, I have another one that works and 
it charges and it's much better condition. Are you interested to you know flip it himself? And he said, yes. I originally had it listed for a hundred with some cleaning solution and I made a deal. Uh, I had one listed for 40, one for a hundred. I made a deal for a hundred for both of them without the cleaning solution. So they're gonna ship first class, they're light. Very happy to turn eight into a hundred within an hour. So these are out the door. Look up old shavers especially Remington titanium ones. Some of them have some really good value. Next up, some more sewing patterns sold. Monda picked up a whole tub of them. In the uh, thrift store she went to, it was a private small thrift store and they wanted a dollar each. Monda convinced them in a bulk buy and she got all of them for 40. I don't know what the total amount was, but it was a pretty good saving. This first set, this is Vogue. Uh, Vogue tends to do pretty well by themselves. All of these patterns, these are just a couple of examples, sold for $27 on, on um, eBay. And then another set, a bigger set of Simplicity. Oh, this one's a duplicate. It's funny because the listing said one duplicate and I pulled it. Uh, so these are Simplicity, mostly vintage, some modern, and these ones sold for $35 plus they pay for shipping on Facebook Marketplace. This is the third out of four sets that we've already sold. We have $10 into each set or $40 into all of it. Uh, nice to see them go so fast. The last time we made, uh, we sold these were in a huge lot of 120-ish and we sold those all together. This time we did it a little bit differently. Hey look, they're, they've, they're selling pretty fast and we're obviously happy with that. The last sale for now are these vintage uh, Fire King um, Anchor Hawking. Uh, these are milk glass. There are these cereal bowls or maybe they're French onion soup bowls. Not 100% sure, but they're a little bit rare. Super good condition, seven of them. Fun story, hashtag mug life, which Gary V made famous on YouTube. Um, we found a garage sale, a state sale of somebody who had literally a house plus a garage full and then they passed away before they were able to open up shop and resell the stuff. We have almost nothing into these. In fact, we've sold way over a thousand dollars from this purchase. We, I think we negotiated 35 cents per cup or bowl. So what is that? Seven times three. So we have about three dollars into them roughly and these sold for $70 shipped. Now these took a long time to sell and most likely they're going to Thailand as it seems like the buyer is in Oregon. And we say that because the first two huge sets that we sold like literally instantly, it was one of the craziest, craziest nights we had in reselling. We communicated with them and they said there's a huge market of this Fire King Vintage USA stuff in Thailand. So they bought it from us. They're going to resell it there for profit, which is awesome. One more sale. It was local. It was this Hamilton Beach, Beach Body, whatever it's called. It's a workout um, CD. Somebody warned us that you cannot sell them on eBay because you're going to get a barrel strike for whatever policies eBay has on these things. So we listed it locally. It took a long time, probably three or four months. I have 15 cents in, into them. They sold for $15 cash locally. That's it for all of the sales so far. It's only nine o'clock and we always joke and say it's only six o'clock in California because of the time difference. So there's plenty of hours left to shop, but this has been a record breaking sales weekend. We can't wait to show you these numbers. We did have one more sale roll in and it's this uh, frying pan from Calphalon. I forgot to show it before I packed it. Let me just go ahead and put it somewhere. Where should I put it? Here, there, how about up here. This is fine. So there it is. This is how crazy our weekend was. It took us about, what, two and a half, three hours to get all this packed. Well worth it. Cause uh, these numbers are fantastic. Fantastic. You gonna do it that way? Sure. <laughs> Decided to uh, change it up for the end on this one. Yeah, we just cut off Adine's legs below the knees so he would fit better <laughs> you on know the how, camera. <laughs> you know how awkward it is to continuously try to find the right fit? This is fine. Uh, it's about midnight now, so obviously it's been a pretty long day for us. Um, mm -hmm. We didn't expect this monster sales weekend, so Wanda's gonna share with you the numbers. I think starting with the cost of goods because the margins were crazy we had a 500 dollars sale that we spent three dollars on and a 400 dollars sale that we spent 12 dollars on so just between those two 
the margins were insane. Well, we'll start with gross sales. All right, that's that makes fair. Sense. Yeah. Go for it. So our gross sales this weekend were two thousand seven hundred and forty-eight dollars. That includes two thousand dollar sales days, Friday and today. We made over a thousand dollars in gross sales. Inc incredible. And and let me just say one thing before we get to the rest of the numbers. This is very much possible and it's it's literally up to you if you want to get to this level it really yeah. is it took us almost uh, over a year and a half to get to this point and like i've mentioned previously this is our record now for gross yes. sales over the weekend it doesn't just happen overnight guys this takes right. a lot of effort and this isn't a regular weekend for us either this no. is a, <laughs> i mean it's not like we're suddenly gonna expect two thousand dollar weekends even no uh, between eventually but yeah between like 13 and 1500 is pretty standard for us so this is definitely like a bonus mm -hmm. and we're gonna celebrate this one guys tomorrow we're gonna just list <laughs> anyway so the cost of goods for all of that was 352 dollars not too shabby at Excellent. all yes so our shipping cost was $338 for everything. Just keep in mind, when we go through our numbers, when we say something sold for 50, we offer free shipping. Obviously that reduces right. the amount we make. Right. So our fees were the biggest expense besides taxes, which were $385 is what we paid in fees. Glad to pay it. So that, leaves us with $1,673 before taxes That's and we plan to take out about 30% mm -hmm. so we set aside $502 which means that our net this weekend was $1,171 it's it's incredible that's net after everything that's yes. cash profit um, Thank you everyone for watching. We really do appreciate it. If you found value in this video, please do hit the thumbs up. Um, mm -hmm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks if you've made it this far through the video. It's yep. a longer one. Yeah. And don't forget to leave your store name below if you'd like us to randomly select yours to buy something from as well. Yeah. Yeah. So again, reminder, put in your store name below in the comments, not in the live chat mm -hmm. during the, the premiere. We're going to shop it. We're going to do a random... Um, generator figure out who mona's gonna buy something i'll buy something and then everyone else who's watching feel free to support one another and buy something from another reseller i think it's a great way to give back and help each other out until next video you guys take care later